One thing we were asking people, I know, is yeah. we were asking them about our film and, oh, yeah. and what they think our film should be. Yeah. Um, about? Yeah. I had no idea really what you... <laughs> oh, you're asking me what your... What our documentary should be about. Oh, that's a good question. Do you want to work again, ever, in the entertainment industry? That's the question. It would be nice if it was talented. In what way? Well, most of these things are awful. The true stories of how films are made are rarely seen. Harry and Ron and Hermione are taking their kids to Hogwarts. This is the final, final scene of the final, final film. Obviously, this is quite a sensitive scene. We don't want the press to know what's going on with this one. Potter is the basis of all our relationships, and so suddenly to have that taken away, we're all going to have to kind of establish our relationships without that all over again in a way. I feel like part of my soul, my whole being, will always be in this place. I can't really imagine a life without going to Leavesden every day, and this is kind of a bubble, really, that we're kind of living in. It's just kind of weird to think about like, the real world, really. It's very safe. I mean, in terms of my life, I think I speak for Rupert and Emma as well when I say this, this is probably the safest place we could be. It's been exactly half my life when we finished. People are very willing to accept me in this role, whereas when I go off and do other stuff, I do worry that, you know, what if Harry is just a role I was very, very suited to, and then while I'm off in the real world, what if I can't do it? You know, that's terrifying. Professor, is this all real? Or is it all just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Do you not get a speaking role? No, I don't think so on this. Not unless somebody dies. Ah. What's your day job? I do sales. Yeah, I'm not very good at it, though. I work to like be a real actor. A real actor? Yeah. And action. I think like be Voldemort. You could be Voldemort. Yeah. And action! Basically, the kids set's corn fire, so they just want to account for everyone, make sure everyone is safe. Ever since Dan Rupert and I got the part, there's always been this thing hanging over us, which is that, oh my god, they're child stars, they're doomed. Those kids have grown up being projected onto by millions and millions of people. There's no one else on the planet who's been Harry Potter, so I think he is Harry Potter. And that's what you have to go with. And I, my suggestion is that you definitely go to therapy. I feel like people are just waiting for me to screw up. Never! Never, ever, ever. I'm getting prodded most days. Like, this must be overwhelming for you. How do you feel? last days, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, it's just happening. I don't quite know how I'm going to really deal with kind of the last day. Are you ready for it, though? Not quite yet. Three, two, one, Lumos Maxima! Yeah.